Play Store is growing tremendously with new apps and games being added every minute and it's really hard to choose between the best and that's exactly why today I'm going to show you 5 best Android apps which you should try in the month of July. Excited? So let's get started. The first app on the list is called Common Card. Now, this app is specifically for those who like to do tons of online shopping and sometimes get confused as we have lots of different online shopping platforms out there. But Common Cart is an all-in-one shopping app that combines some very popular online shopping sites under one roof like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, Jibong and many more. Meaning you don't need to install all these apps if you have installed this one. The UI is actually quite minimal and you will easily get used to. By default, you only have 4 tabs of major shopping sites but you also have the option to add lots of different websites. One of the best feature of this app is called the Super Search, using which you can search a single product on all the different online shopping platforms and compare the price to get the best deal. Next up we have the Adobe Scan and as the name suggests, it will scan your paper document into PDF file directly from your smartphone. Hmm, that sounds great. So let's check out how it works. Just open the app which will show you the camera. Now point the camera towards the document and it will automatically try to recognize the document and find the edges of it or you can do that manually. Once done, you can either choose to save it as PDF or enhance the scan further. After you are satisfied with the scan, you also have the option to share it with others. I know there are other apps that perform similar tasks too, like Google Photos Scan and Cam Scanner but I think Adobe Scan gets the job done in a much better way. Moving forward to the next one which is called Firefox Focus. Nowadays online privacy is becoming a major concern, there are lots of browsers out there but very few that deals with this issue. But recently Firefox released a new browser called Focus that focuses on blocking a wide range of trackers. Every time you visit a website, it will show you how many trackers are attempting to keep track of you. As for ads, they are blocked by default so you don't have to see them. In other words, Firefox Focus gives you the privacy and ad blocking power you would usually only get through add-ons. So if you are one of those who like to do lots of browsing, then I will highly recommend this one. Next up we have Cinetrick which is a perfect app for a movie maniac like me as I used to watch lots of Hollywood movies and I'm pretty sure that some of you also do. And that's the reason why I included this app. It basically sources movie informations from places like IMDB, Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic to get you a better idea regarding a particular movie. Additionally you can check out the review and build a watch list of movies you have seen and the movies you want to see. It will also alert you to upcoming releases and recommend ones based on your taste. The last one on my list is called Shabam and yeah, I know the name is pretty weird but I think the app is quite unique. Now we all love to send lots of gifts or chips, whatever you would like to call it to our friends and family but the only thing that I don't like about the gifts is that they are mute and they don't have sound. But hey, it's 2017 guys and now that's possible too by using this app called Shabam. This app has tons of gifts that are divided into different categories and sections from which you can choose gifts according to your mood. Once you have selected your gift, just press this button to record and you are done. It's as simple as that. You also have the option to share the gift on your different social media. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.